here down the entrance. Just going on one o'clock in the afternoon. This is what's hanging out to see. Well, we've had this going on for a week now. The ground's absolutely saturated. It's a joke. I'm over it. But uh, I might go home and do a video of cleaning up some old barley jewellery and statues. So, catch hey you guys. These are just some of the wood carvings that I uh, picked up while I was in Bali as well. Uh, this is oh, it's bloody heavy, I tell you. This is what's called the Garuda bird. Um, oh god, that is heavy. Um, yeah. This is all made out of um, ebony. Around the same time, I um, picked up this bloke here. He's uh, original Balinese, they call him. He's got his two sacks woven baskets, his little digging tool. Um, yeah, these are all been carved out of one bit of wood and very primitive tools, just like the uh, following video on the jewellery. This wood's so hard it's not funny. I'll show you a test to it at the end, but um, yeah, nice stuff. And then um, I went back three years, or well, four years later, and um, picked up these and had ones. They're uh, right into their demons. In um, 1981, on my second trip, um, they had roundabouts and uh, all around the roundabouts on the outside of them, no sorry, on the inside of them, were all these statues. So one day I asked one of the blokes what that was all about and he told me it was to ward off accidents. Now if you see the way they drive like in a lot of Asian countries. But yeah, this one here, this is a real good one. This one here's got a demon, something in his hand. And then there's another demon underneath. And then there's a demon underneath that. They're probably a bit dusty because they just sit around, they don't do much, but... But yeah, you know, just look at the detail in his arms, in his body. Yeah, beautiful bits of work all been done out of one bit of wood. This one's actually been numbered, number 25, so this is the 25th one that he ever did. So he was getting better and better by every one, which is, oh, they're, they're so heavy. What was this one here? Yeah, this was number two. So, not bad for his second attempt, that's for sure. The uh, first two I showed you, they weren't stamped. And uh, this one wasn't over, but this actually came with tusks and everything. They just got little uh, tusks off a small pig. But, um, I've seen one very similar, well not very similar, identical, but a third of the size. And they wanted 400 bucks for it. That cost me 14 Australian dollars in 81. So it was a very good buy. They were all these two here, they were the same. 14 bucks each. That and that, I really can't remember, but they would have been cheaper because that was in 1977 and tourists weren't around. And uh, yeah, it was great. Anyway, thought I'd show you those once again. There's some awesome detail in them. Catch you later. Hey guys, uh, just going through a jewelry box. Found some old jewelry that um, I bought back in Bali in 1977. This one's stamped 925. It's pretty hard, but I'll get some shots up later. It's um, fairly fine detail. Um, 
I'm going to just clean these up. I've got a couple. There's another one there. This one's marked 50%. There's some, um, I don't know, what is it, Joe? But, you know, it's just awesome craftsmanship for back 1977. It's pretty. I'm not kidding, it was so primitive when I first went over there. I went back there five years later on my honeymoon and oh mate, changed a lot. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give these a scrub up. Oh, don't want to drop that. There's a small ring as well. Nice red stone. Don't know what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of nice little craftsmanship going into these rings. This one's Mark 925 as well. So I'm going to give them a bit of a clean, a bit of a light scrub up and see what happens. But yeah, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. Well, gave these a scrub up, just a bit of bicarb, and um, yeah, they come up well. Very impressed. I uh, think that um, at the time it was uh, worthwhile riding, I think it was like six hours with my missus on the back on a old Honda 125, I think it was. But um, unbelievable. They come up beautiful. I'm happy. This one's 50% silver, but it's still scrubbed up nice. 